Okay. Hello everybody. To a show fixes tech series. Today it is all about this cordless screwdriver. Uh, it is not working. Don't, uh, and I will not be charging first. I will tell you a little bit about that later, why not? But in this video I will try to fix this thing. Most likely I just need to swap the battery. But I do not have the charger and I do not know how safe the charging was originally on here. So in that case I will use this USB charging circuit that will charge the battery. I have one of those batteries here and holder, battery in, soldering a little and put it inside. I hope that I can fix it. If I manage to fix this, then I will also order from China the uh, speed regulator for motor, motor speed regulator. And in that case, I can also regulate Okay, without further ado, let's just start with the video, shall we? Okay, very first thing, to take out the battery here, you need to press on the each side these two plastic latches and just pull it out. And that is battery. If you look at the battery, you can see one problem already. Over here, the contacts are pulled up, upwards. And here is broken plastic. That is red flag. So. Now I will just take out, uh, to take off the cap of the battery, I mean this plastic cover, however you want to call it. It is easy. Basically, I just need to pull it out. The thing is that this plastic was broken here. Someone already opened that thing. So this plastic was glued in on the top over here, you see. But glue still holds and plastic is broken. I don't care. Uh, so if I open it up, I see these two plastic rings. Probably goes onto the battery itself. And if I take out the battery, you see that battery is in bad situation. As you see, it is corroded. It is in bad position. So now it's time for me first to check if this motor inside of here even works. To do this, I will put this aside for now. And here, this stick can be used also like this, like an angle. And these two are probably contacts plus and minus that goes inside of here. But you probably wondering how do you know that uh, what is positive and what is negative side of the uh, contacts. So here, if we look at the battery, here we have positive and here we have negative side. Positive is smaller circle on the in the middle, where negative you see that is the whole metal coverage. And this metal goes all the way to the top. So here is the positive. So this is the positive. The company that made this angel, they just soldered contact directly to the battery. I don't like doing that, but okay. So, 
this is the positive part and uh, now I just need to put it uh, look at it how it goes inside this is the plastic latch that goes inside here so when you pull it inside now we know that that contact on this side is positive now that I know that this contact is positive I can check it out so it goes inside here it cannot go any other way because of the grooves so positive is near this blank plastic part not where the screw is so now uh, if I do this I can just check if this co uh, metal is contacted to these uh, contacts inside. To do this, I can use the multimeter. I will uh, put it on the beep continuity. Uh, it can go like this. Okay, it is working. Now if I go, let's say, to positive inside of here. Positive contact inside of here. And try. And it is not conducting. So, we, c we do not know, uh, uh, this contact does not go to this metal plate. What now? Now, before I test it, I want to disassemble this part. Uh, probably I will need to unscrew this screw first. And if I take it out, I see this metal plate. And yes, here. As you can see, there is two contacts, plus as positive and minus as negative. I just don't want to lose this, um, how do I say, the balls that go, squirts, squirts, squirts. <laughs> okay. So here is also a plastic cover. And now let's just take apart this part. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me just uh, take out these balls. So I do not lo do not lose them. <laughs> okay, so this is smaller. I need smaller screwdriver here, and I have two screws here and two screws on the other side. Come on. Camera focus, damn it. Let's see. And this cover comes off. Okay. Let's put this to the side. And let's see. Here is the, and the button. This is the motor. This is the torque adjustment. So, you know what? I can look at... I can look at the motor. I want to check what is the data on this motor. I will just unscrew those two screws also. Okay. Now if I, aha, uh -huh, I, I can take it out, noise. So, this one is 3.6 volts. 
So this battery cell uh, goes about goes to 4.2 volts when it is fully charged. So yeah, but when you pull a load on it, it drops the voltage to 4, 3.8 probably depends on how much load do you put put it on. So here it it is a little bit dirty. I'll just clean it a little bit. Okay, no, I do not understand this technology. Because here, and I am all. Uh, But before I close up, let me take some Vaseline. And now that's problem. So you can see gears are inside here and let me, if I'm already here, let me lubricate those ones also. Now let's put the sucker in. Uh, just a second, let me just put it in correctly. Like this. Okay, so now goes inside here. I almost forgot this one. Um, it can go like this, or you can go like this, right? Let's go in. No, I hope that I'm doing it correctly. Come on. And screw does not want to get. <laughs> Come on. You see me struggle? Let's see now. Will you go in? Yes, this one. Will you go in? Yes. So, inside here, always look where are the grooves, etc, etc, etc. So now it's time for me to test this sucker. Like this. So, positive goes to positive. 
red and negative goes to green in this case. And now uh, I have these two wires here. So here is positive is on this side, so I can just take it a little uh, longer. So positive goes on to just to make contact. I can also take two clips alligators like this. It does not work. But now, now is the question. Why is motor not turning? You know what? Just for the test. Uh, I will open up voltage. Let's see. Here the 4.18 volts. That's okay. And here 4.17 volts. And yes, that is plus. That that is positive. That is negative. You know what? Let's try it once more. Maybe the switch is not working properly. Okay, that is why it is good to test things before. Before you do anything about battery, because you never know what can go wrong. So in this case, I will need to disassemble this again. You see the cables are not good at all here. Okay, this is going apart. I need to check the motor directly if it is working or don't or not. Uh, Gators. Okay, it's working. So this one is okay. This I will put aside. And now I need to put attention on to this. But how is this put together? First I will try to take out this switch. Uh -huh, it is just pulled to the sides. Okay. This cable is dirty as hell. So what I will do is just to solder it back on. But first I need to to snip away the so I have fresh ca uh, cable right here. So now it will be soldering time. 
because I need to solder this wire onto here. And I snipped part of the wires away before. You know what? I will put in the new wires. So I will just use the this wire from some device. I have no idea what device that was. To solder the new wire inside here. Maybe like this, yes. Okay, soldering iron. So everybody, let me just put this to the side for now. So, here, which was for DVD, play, uh, DVD stuff, I will take my stuff okay flux then i have holder for the soldering iron and i will use the soldering iron also i will use the the soldering wire and the cleaning um, copper cleaning thingy and helping hands, maybe I will need them. So here I have the board. that I use for the soldering. Now I need to wait until soldering iron is hot enough. Okay, it's not melting yet. So, this wire, solder wire, SV160, that is the regular wire with flux inside. Okay, while waiting, I can strip this wire. So before I make a problem, I made a problem that I clamped too much. If I look now, let me see. I have long enough, yes. Now I will use my holding hands. Helping hands, helping, helping, helping hands. Come on. Why are you resisting? Okay, that, that wire is a little bit thicker than it was uh, than the previous one. I think that it should be a little bit more.
Let's twist it. Well, and there is a little bit too much. I will put a little bit of flux on it. Maybe a little bit too much. Now let me just put the wires for the plastic. Okay, like this. I will thin the wire first. And now Solder it inside. I'm pushing, I will use the flux also. So, the problem is that it is a little bit loose now, here inside, so I will use the this, thing, this glue gun, now I need to wait for glue gun, glue gun to get hot, but while I am waiting, I will try to put back together this thing. Okay, these contacts is a little bit too far. And before I close it up, I will just clean up the contacts a little bit.
Now it's time for me to put it inside. Like this, okay. I think that that blob is a little bit too big. Now I'm just trying to make it work. So when it is at the middle, it is like this, left, right. Ah, it is like this. So that uh, uh, that middle thing is going to this one and when it is like this, contact is to this and contact is to this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now I understand. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. So, let me just try this. <laughs> okay, uh, switch. Okay, that is the break and that is the switch. <clears throat> and I forgot how is the switch mounted. I mean, switch, I know, I know it is like this. Okay, so switch goes to what side? Switch is like this. All right, switch is like this. It, um, uh, break is on the this side. So break maybe like this. Yeah. I have no idea how the break goes on. Mm -hmm. Maybe like this. <laughs> Let's see. This goes inside of here. And why? God damn it! Okay. Well, 
Let's see if this works now. Like this. Okay. Now when this is done. Oh, not all pins are inside. God damn it. Where is... Uh, here it is. Yeah, that's correct way to go in. It is working. Nice. Okay, now it is tested. Now I can put it back together. Ah, first I need to put in this one. Eh, God damn it. Okay, so let's not completely, but I will unscrew these two screws. So I can. So this shaft goes inside. Maybe from this side. Okay, something is wrong. Okay, now I have an idea how it is going together. Here where, where is the brake goes it goes inside. Now when it is flush this side and screw that in.
Uh, oh, so, yeah, missing. This metal plate is missing. Damn it. Damn it, I'm doing so many mistakes. And now I have different problem. This plastic is broken. Ah, I will, I will not have it. Who cares about that plastic? Yes. I forgot one thing. I forgot to put in the... <laughs> ay, ay. If you remember... The balls. I put, did not put in the balls. Yes, the balls. So that you know, uh, here on on this plastic, you see there is two little holes. Those are for these balls over here. Yes, it's working. Nice. This plastic I won't be adding inside. I will try to put it inside, even that. <laughs> and sounds screwed again. <laughs> It's not work. Uh -huh, it is working. Nice. And we came to the end of this first part of the video. Next part, don't forget to watch it. It will be about battery fix up. So I will repair the battery. The third part uh, will be about upgrading this electric screwdriver so I can adjust the motor speed. So. Don't forget to watch out for the new videos. If you have any questions, did not understood something whatsoever, you can write down in the comments everything you want or just say hi whatsoever. If you want to get notified about new videos, you just need to press big red subscribe button. Then just click uh, bell icon and notify all. So all notifications would come. If you like the video, give big thumbs up. If you did not, thumbs down and share with others so others can learn also something new. <laughs> and until next time, have a blast people and see ya. Bye bye.